We're in the Great Museum in Cairo, and here is a large figure, kind of rough, so probably made during dynastic times. This may be a depiction of Ramses II. Curious thing are the two objects that are being held in the hands. No one seems to know what they represent. One of our favorite artifacts in the museum in Cairo is this unfinished box. You can see that the lid was being cut from the bottom and that was the standard procedure with these pre-dynastic megalithic boxes. The lid was cut from the bottom and then taken around to the top. And here we have the evidence of there being two circular saw blades. One above and one below. And in the process of cutting, the upper blade, which was tapered, move to the right going off course causing the lid to snap off. We have this incredibly beautiful sarcophagus likely made out of basalt stone. This again would likely be a pre-dynastic creation because basalt is a very hard stone. And then the dynastic people may have carved the hieroglyphs into it after inheriting this incredibly beautiful object. Now we're going to see one of the beautifully machined stone bowls. Fortunate for us, this is not behind a glass case. So we get to go up and inspect it. And touch it. Beautiful glossy surface. 
super hard stone. Could not have been made by hand. Had to have been done using machining technology. And this beautiful vessel, likely made out of diorite, which is a very fine type of granite. And again, you can tell by the curvature that this is a machined artifact since it doesn't have handles on it, which others do. It could have easily been turned on a lathe, but even the officials here state that this is a pre-dynastic object, which means it is older than the invention of the potter's wheel, which doesn't make sense unless there was an ancient culture that had very advanced machining technology. One of the most iconic sculptures in, from all of ancient Egypt is this, theoretically of Khafre, once again, carved into a super hard stone, a granitic, granitic type of stone. Very likely, this is a pre-dynastic <clears throat> work of art. And then later, the dynastic people came and carved the hieroglyphics into the surface. Well, here we can see King Khafre or King Patrakolov in the second pyramid, wearing headdress, false beard, short kilt. What's intriguing the about this and the statue was made out is the transformation of this, because we have stone. quote and unquote Khafre. And then in behind, we have also finely carved Horus the Falcon. And finally, our dear friend Akhenaten of the 18th dynasty, of which I wrote a book, which you can find on Amazon. So some say he's depicted as being half woman and half man. It's a very thin face. Ruled for approximately 20 something years before he was forced out by the Amun priesthood. And other sculptures of Akhenaten. Here depicted with an elongated head, like descriptions of Osiris. And a very iconic bust and upper body of Akhenaten. And fortunately, still in the museum are the depictions of the daughters with elongated heads. They haven't been moved to the new Grand Egyptian Museum at Giza. One would think this would be based on someone who actually had an elongated head rather than an art, artist's interpretation.